guys. Well, it's time to make video number two. And I've got to be honest with you, I'm more nervous about making this one than I was about making the first one. I don't understand that, but oh well, here we go. Today's video is about foundations I've tried and how they worked on aging skin. Now, for me, aging skin is I have fine lines through here. They're real fine, but they're there, and makeup sets in them. If I don't wear the white foundation, it just sets in there. I have wrinkles under my eyes. I don't have crow's feet. I have laugh lines, but not really what I call crow's feet. But I do have a lot of wrinkling underneath my eyes. So I have to be careful in my foundations that I buy. I have dry skin on my cheek areas, but I have oily skin on my chin and forehead. So, the first one I want to show you is this CoverGirl Outlast Foundation. I hope you can see that. Um, the color here, this one is 805. This one is a really nice little foundation. It goes on really nice, but what I find is it really sets in my pores. And I do have a problem with pores through here. And this one really sets in those pores. And I haven't been able, I, I've been applying it with a beauty blender. Um, I've tried applying it with my fingers. I haven't tried a brush yet. I'm going to try that next and see. Because this one does last. But it it sets in those pores and looks terrible. So And it, and it sets in the lines too. Everything sets in the lines somewhat. Um, I'm not going to look 20 when I'm 60. So, um, that's that one. The next one's the one we've all heard about. The Revlon Color Stay. I do like this foundation, but I feel like it gives me kind of um, an ashy look. This is the only color that is closest to my skin tone. And I'm I'm really fair. I have some dark freckling from sun damage over the years on my cheeks and stuff, but I'm quite fair. And this just, it just looks ashy. I do wear it, um, but it's not my favorite foundation. The next one is the Whipped Revlon foundation. And I thought this was going to be the ticket. Now, in this one, I do buy the... This one, I, I picked up the wrong one. This is the one for normal to dry skin. And I really prefer the um, normal to oily skin, or combination skin, I think it's called. I really prefer that because it doesn't set in the lines as bad as this one does. Um, so next time I purchase it, I will purchase the other kind. This one, the Revlon Color Whipped, I thought was going to be the ticket. I thought this would be it. And it, it does go on beautifully. It feels wonderful when it goes on. And I had watched It's Judy Time do a, a review of it, and she loved it. And I bought it because of that review. And it is, it goes on beautifully, but it's got very poor coverage for my skin. Um, I could still see all of my freckling. Um, it stayed on for about 45 minutes on my chin and on my forehead, and you could actually see it breaking down on there. Um, I didn't use a primer with it. I am using a primer now. But um, this foundation, even though it goes on pretty, and, and I imagine it could be buildable, but any of you know, if you have wrinkles and you build a foundation up, the more foundation you put on your face, the more those wrinkles are going to show. It It isn't a pretty look. So that was a no-go for me. Then I bought, I had heard so much on eBay about the Leo Ellie Triple Solution BB Cream. And this is a high-end product for me. I decided there's two products here that I decided... For me, they're high-end. This was $22 on eBay. And it has its drawbacks. Um, it only comes in the one shade. It worked for me because I have pale skin, but it is a, it's very light. 
but it does work for me. It, it goes on very nice. It does look nice. Um, it's a little too oily for me because it's a BB cream and it has the moisturizer. I'm assuming moisturizers like in it. Here it says hyaluronic acid, supply moisture, and nutrition. Um, I think it's supposed to have yogurt stuff in it too. Uh, I can't read the back. It's all in, I guess, I got this from Korea. I'm assuming that's Korean. But um, it says this product makes your skin moist as yogurt. Well, it, it pretty much does that. I am moist. Um, it, it doesn't stay on a long time. Well, I know I take that back. On my cheek area and stuff, it does. On my chin and my forehead, again, it breaks down really fast. It has a funny quality to it. I tend to sweat a lot in my the aging process is wonderful for that um, I will get hot I'll be in a store and you know how the flashes go believe me I'm not over the flashes yet and I'm 60 years old so I will get hot sometimes and this makeup has kind of a um, almost like a plastic skin finish I don't know how else to describe it it looks really funny when you sweat and if you dab with a tissue like that and you lose all your foundation. This is terrible for transferring. Um, I've watched some of the younger girls put it on and it looks beautiful on them and they swear by it. But on my old skin it just didn't work well. Now the one I have found that works the very best for me is this Mary Kay and this is the other what I would consider high end for me. This was $18 um, and you only got one fluid ounce, but I use it very sparingly. I don't have to use a lot. It looks best if I put just like a little half a pea size in the palm of my hand, and then I put a little squeeze of my uh, serum, my moisturizing serum, in my hand, mix it together, and put it on with my fingers, and that's how it looks the best on my skin. That's what I have on today. Um, and this stays on a long time. I can, this stays on all day. I can go hours and hours and hours, look in the mirror at night, and I still have my blush on, my makeup is still on, and for me that's a good indicator of a makeup that works, is if my blush is still on at the end of the day. If, if my blush is gone, you know the makeup's gone, everything's gone. But my blush stays on. Um, as long as I don't lean on my hand and rub my head a lot and stuff like that, I don't lose it um, during the day. I do get some redness breaks through around my nose, but I'm always wiping my nose. My nose runs from allergies, and I'll get a runny nose, and I, I do lose makeup around there. But that's not the makeup's fault. That's from me wiping on it. Um, but I am finding that this one from Mary Kay, this is the Mary Kay Medium Coverage Foundation. It says medium coverage, but for me, it acts as a full coverage. Um, it's a drier foundation. It's not real oily. I prefer that because then I can mix my serum with it a little bit, make my own kind of BB cream out of it, and I get the coverage that I want. Um, I can mix it. I know how to mix it now to just the right consistency so that it's not real dry looking on my skin. And it stays. So for me, this has turned out to be the best bet for me. Um, the other one that I would say works, if you're going to buy one at the drugstore that's most like this, would be the CoverGirl 3-in-1. Uh, this is supposed to have the primer and everything in it, foundation primer and I forget what the third thing is. But this one, the the CoverGirl 3-in-1 foundation, is the most like this Mary Kay foundation. The only difference